Hey friends, my name is Cassidy or Magical Martini. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have a collective haul of some things that I've been gathering over the last couple months. Um, some of the stuff was pre-orders online. Some of it I picked up in store. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get right on into it because I have a, quite a few things to show you guys. The first item might as well be what was in my thumbnail, which is also the reason why I wore my scar shirt that Sue gave me in our villainous box swap, which was the last video I posted on my channel. I will link that up above in case you haven't seen it, but definitely needed to wear my scar because it is, of course, the Scar Loungefly mini backpack. I pre-ordered this a few months ago and it finally came and it is so gorgeous look at how fierce he looks like those eyes his iconic scar his mane down here you have the disney lounge fly logo there's no pocket on the front which is um a little different than the ones that i have but i actually love that because it's just a picture of him and um it works for this bag on the side, you actually don't have the side pockets either, which is a little disappointing. That's one of my favorite um, details or parts of a lounge fly mini backpack. But to be completely honest, this is probably going to be more for display on my shelves because um, I don't want to mess it up. I know one day I will go to Walt Disney World again and go to Animal Kingdom. And in that case, I will probably take him with me because he would be perfect there. But um, for the most part, he's just going to be in the background, so it's okay that it doesn't have side pockets. I just really like to use those for my phone. It's very convenient. Anyway, so um, when you turn it around, it has this beautiful like orange, burnt orange color straps. And then one of my favorite details is on the back. It says, I'm surrounded by idiots which of course is a scar quote. So I think that's a really cute detail. It has silver, um, that's not silver, that's gold. It has gold hardware. And then on the inside, there is a pattern with the same color scheme as the outside. And there is a zipper, Let's see if I can show you guys. Mm, it's not really showing up, but there is a zipper compartment in the back, which is really nice because not all bags have that. So i um, really happy to add this beautiful bag to my collection. I actually just got back from going to Ikea on a mission to get another one of these Tall Billy bookshelves. I got it, so um, Kyle actually just built it for me. So that is going to be going on this wall over here. You won't see it, but I'm going to be moving a few things around like my Hocus Pocus and my Harry Potter shelf, my pins on the bottom, my planner stuff. All the stuff that doesn't really need to be in my background is gonna go on that bookshelf. And so I'm going to rearrange some things. And this very top shelf over here is going to be all scar. So of course, this is going to have a very prominent place on that shelf. Um, so I'm really excited to get all that done. The next video that you see, there will be a lot of changes. So maybe I'll have to do like an updated, updated bookshelf tour because I didn't do one um, too long ago. It's been pretty recent. I will link that up above in case you haven't seen it. But like I said, there's going to be a lot of changes because I haven't been able to put like any of the stuff that Sue gave me away because there's just no room. So lots of moving things around. Um, before I forget, I pre-ordered the SCAR backpack from Pink A La Mode on Instagram from Allie. So I will link that Instagram down below as well. I think they do a lot of lounge fly pre-orders. Um, little spoiler alert, I just ordered another one that is like my ultimate, like if anyone asked me what character could you, um, would I want to be made into a lounge fly bag, I would have said this character and it is actually coming to life. I should be receiving it in May. So I will also be showing that on my channel, of course. Um, but until then, 
scar is fantastic and I'm really excited to have him. Next, I want to show you a gym shore that I bought for myself because I got a bonus at work. So it's a little reward, um, treat yourself moment where I was like, you deserve a new gym shore. So, um, if you saw our gym shore Jubilee on Nicholas's channel, it was a live that we did last week with a bunch of really awesome Disney YouTuber friends of mine, then you will have already seen this, but if you haven't, here it is. This is my first White Woodland Gym Shore. I got her off of Amazon for an, a really good price, actually. But it is, of course, Pocahontas. And you got Miko right there and Flit. She's holding her mother's necklace. And then down here, there's a little bunny and squirrel. And she is kneeling down on this tree. And this is just so beautiful. Look at her hair, the detail of her just sitting back on her feet. I love this so much. I was mentioning in the live that I think it would be really cool if they did a Grandmother Willow Gym Shore that could kind of like sit right next to this, like she's talking to her. Wouldn't that be cool? So um, hopefully Gym Shore does a Grandmother Willow one day because she's one of my favorites. But um, I absolutely love this, really happy to add that to my collection. This, this is the box. Next, I also pre-ordered a pop. It is a 2021 Spring Convention Limited Edition exclusive. And it is, of course, Belle in the green dress. Here is the artwork on the side. I love that she's holding a book. Here are all the other pops in that collection in the back. And this is a collection that I actually have all of them of, so kind of proud to be a completist. I mean, if there's anything I'm going to be a completist in, it's me. Okay. This is my first time taking her out. She's so pretty. Oh my goodness, I love her. And she does come with a stand. So you have her green dress from when the beast gives her the library bow in the back with her beautiful hair detail and then she's holding a blue book so yay i don't i don't know that i have anything of her in the green dress maybe a pin but that's definitely her least um used dress in merchandise next i have the most amazing like massive fantasy pin to show you. I um, I found out about this pin through Tim and Johnny over at the Game Boys. They had purchased it. And so I found the Instagram that they purchased it from through them. It's called Enchanted Fantasy Pins. And I will of course link them down below. Get ready because if you're a villain fan, you're going to want this. It is insane. I mean, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> it is literally almost as big as my hand. There is a lot of really beautiful glitter detail. Let me take it out of the plastic so that there's not a reflection. Okay. So in the top there, you have Ursula, Dr. Facilier, the Evil Queen, Jafar, Queen of Hearts, Hades, Cruella. Underneath her, you have Oogie Boogie, Mother Gothel, Captain Hook, Maleficent, Frollo, Lady Tremaine, and Scar. And then the villains in the center is a pin on pin. And it has four pin posts on the back. This card is also really, really beautiful. Um, I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't have guests on, but that is literally the only complaint that I have about this pin. It is just so stunning so beautiful so big and amazing i actually picked up a shadow box from michael's to put it in so that i can add it to my background because it's just too pretty to not have on display so um i'm gonna put some like colorful paper in here put the pin in here and then sit it on one of my villain shelves once i rearrange so that was the thought process behind that 
Um, I'm kind of all over the place, but it is what it is. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you was a Shop Disney order, and it's just two pins. The second I saw these, I knew I had to get them. I hope that they do this type of pin for every movie because I would get a lot of them. They did already come out with three. I only got two um, because I don't collect Alice in Wonderland and that was the other one that they released. But this is the first one and it is Beauty and the Beast. And it just, it has all of the sidekicks. So it has the wardrobe, Hogsworth, Lumiere, the coat hanger, which I don't know his name. Met, the footstool, Pup, and Mrs. Potts and Chip. And I mean, it reminds me of the human again scene. And I just love it because sidekicks are, sidekicks are everything. Um, the other one I picked up was Cinderella. And this one has the um, fairy godmother, who is one of my absolute favorite Disney characters. It has Lucifer and Bruno, and then um, the mice, uh, Jack and Gus, Gus, and I don't, I think that's Perla, or is that Susie? I'm not sure. And then two of the bluebirds, so, she's so pretty. Anything with the um, fairy godmother on it, I'm like sold. So those are the two pins that I got from Shop Disney. I have two more fantasy pins to show you guys. This one um, came in this cute little bag. It is from one of my favorite small shops, Fly and Soar Co. And I purchased quite a few pins from her. I will of course link um, her information down below, but it is Max, Eric's dog, one of my favorite Disney dogs from The Little Mermaid. And it says he looks kind of hairy and slobbery to me. And that's a scuttle quote, which I love scuttle too. So. You don't find Max on a lot of pins, so I was really happy to purchase that. This last pin that I'm going to show you, I pre-ordered a good six, seven, eight months ago. It took quite a long time to get here, but it was well worth the wait because the quality is fantastic. Um, it is from Pixie Princess. Pixie Princess. Pixie Princess, I will also link that information down below, and it is part of a series of the Haunted Mansion Stretching Portraits, Little Mermaid Edition. I only got this one because it's Vanessa. So here it is. You see Vanessa sitting on Grimsby's grave, and then in the background you can see Prince Eric's castle, and then it's framed just like the Haunted Mansion. It is a very thick pin. This backer card is also stunning. It has two pin posts on the back and just obviously beautiful. I will be posting pictures to my Instagram at Magical Martini of all of these pins so that you can see them a little better. The lighting isn't that great in here, so I apologize for that. Um, but if you want to see them a little closer up, you can definitely check them out there. I did quickly just want to show you something that I use in my background that I get off of Amazon, and it is this six pack of risers. So there are three different sizes, two of each, and this is how I kind of make um, my background different levels so that you can see things better. It's like $12.99 for a set of six. They do have a film on them right now because obviously I haven't used them yet, but I just wanted to show you how they arrive in case you um, would like to get some of these for your collection. I think they have them in black and clear. I like to get the clear. Um, so yeah, highly recommend these. If you um, wanna make different levels of showing off your collection. Um, the last few things I want to show you are from my last trip to the Disney store. Mine unfortunately closed down along with a lot of other ones across the country. So I definitely wanted to check it out, see if there was anything I needed. It was pretty picked over, um, but I did find two things. So this first item is a beach towel. 
of flounder and it is in the shape of flounder so I think that's really cool and really cute um, I'm not gonna open it because there's no need to right now but it just it looks exactly like that my friend that I went with um, also got this and she opened it up that's how we know it is indeed the shape of flounder the other item that I got was one of the keys and this is actually the only key that I have. It is of up and in the bottom you have the Luxo ball and the, um, the lamp light. And then you have the house there with the balloons, the D and I actually really love the box this came in. So I'm going to display it in the box in my little up section in the back. And I got both of those items for like $15. So they were really discounted um obviously since it was going out of business and then the last place that we went was of course box lunch we can't go to the mall without going to box lunch so i did get two items there one of which i'm already using it is a up visor for the front windshield of my car it has a house and carl and russell and doug and kevin so i will post a picture here or here <laughs> um to show you what it looks like because I have a black car so it has definitely been a lifesaver this last week since it's been like 80 something degrees keeping the inside of my car a lot cooler. Um, the very last item that I got and the last part of this haul is this lounge fly hocus pocus wallet. It's kind of a wristlet because it has a little strap. Um, it's in my two favorite colors purple and turquoise. In the front here you have Winifred, Sarah, and Mary and this uh, star and moon pattern and then on the other side you have a zipper and the Loungefly logo gold hardware. When you open it up you have card slots on the side and then this is actually the perfect like size and space to put a phone so this can be used as just like a little purse on its own use the wristlet part perfect for a lot of different occasions um of course in the meantime i am going to put this on my hocus pocus shelf because it's too cute not to and um yeah I'm i had never seen this so really happy i was able to pick that up that is my haul um let me know what your favorite items were in the comments down below as always hard for me to choose because they're all so different and all just my favorite things <laughs> so um if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. I am getting a lot closer to 500 subscribers, which thank you all so much. And when that happens, I do plan on doing a giveaway. So definitely stick around and um, that will be coming hopefully not too far in the near future. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I truly love and appreciate you more than you know. And I hope you all have the most magical day. Bye.